Jim, welcome to Behind the Scenes at Delta College. I understand there's a few different areas a, a person could go into. Could you tell me about those programs? Yes, we have two basic uh, automotive programs here. Our first one is our GM ASAP program. Uh, basically, it's a two-year associate's degree program. A student that comes in with a little bit of automotive knowledge, um, maybe just from a career center or lots of work at home, comes in with a, a, a base understanding. And we try to get the student placed in a GM dealership. They get, throughout the life of the program, 1,800 hours of internship experience, paid internship at that dealer. They rotate back and forth between the dealer and here for classes for two years. We also have our AUT program, and our AUT program can either be a certificate program or an associate's degree program. So uh, what sorts of jobs are available in the area to graduates? Obviously we're trying to train automotive technicians, service technicians, but lots of them go on to service advisors, service managers. We have a lot of students go through our program here that we associate with Northwood, our 3 plus 1 program, and go into automotive marketing and management and go into aftermarket companies. Is there anything that you think people would be surprised to know about the automotive services program? Some of the what we think are neat things that we're working on, um, currently we're building a hybrid dune buggy. Um, basically we're taking Toyota Prius parts and building on a, a purchased frame and we hope to have that together by this summer. Um, that's a lot of fun. We're, we're building a hybrid program around that and some other components that we have. And um, tell me a little bit about your background. How long have you been at Delta and how did you get inter interested in automotive? I'm in my fifth full-time year here at Delta. Um, I'm actually a, a Delta ASEP graduate. Graduated from the GM program many years ago. Um, worked as a service technician for a while. I worked as uh, writing service manuals for General Motors for a while. Started teaching. Um, taught here for a couple years part-time and as I said I'm five years full-time here. And um, how has uh, automotive service changed over the years? Can you tell us about that? Oh, people would be surprised by the technology that is involved now. We have to teach these ASAP students now especially how to diagnose things from smartphone apps. With the Chevrolet Volt, they can set the comfort levels in their Volt before they ever get out there. People are amazed at the technology involved and what we have to be able to figure out. Jim, in your experience, what does it take to be successful in automotive services? People that come into the program need to have basic problem solving skills. Basic algebra, I tell high school students, and I talk to them all the time, that basic algebra never goes away. It, even if you don't think you're going to use it, it's problem solving skills. We have to be able to figure out what's wrong with the car. You have to have the desire to try to figure things out. We look for a type of student who tore their mom's vacuum cleaner apart when it quit working to figure out why it didn't work, that kind of thing. They have a basic desire to figure out how things work. And are there many uh, women in, enrolled in the program? We have low numbers of females in the program, but we have had some success stories in the past. We have one that went through the 3 plus 1 program at Northwood that I talked about earlier, and she went on to work for a national uh, chemical supplier selling automotive chemicals as a national sales manager. We currently have one of our recent graduates that's an assistant service manager at one of the local Ford dealers. Jim, what's the entry level pay range for someone starting out in this field? Currently in our area, introductory pay range would be $35 to $40,000. Once they get some experience, five years or so, um, and their efficiency and their commission increase, they should be in the $60,000 range. I'm wondering if I could uh, join one of your classes and maybe get some hands-on experience. Certainly. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us today is Leanne from our marketing department here at Delta, and we're going to teach her a little bit about doing alignment. Over the last couple days in class, we've talked about the three basic alignment angles, caster, camber, and toe. Today we're going to show Leanne how to do an, a toe adjustment on the 2011 GMC terrain out there. Any questions? Now as we're adjusting, we're lengthening this tie rod. As you make the adjustment, you're going to see that negative number come back to zero. It'll turn yellow. And as we go slightly positive, it'll turn green. A little bit Whoa, too far. Too much. A little bit too far. Back up just a little bit. Thanks, Jim, for letting me come behind the scenes and learning more about the automotive department. You're very welcome. We had a lot of fun having you here.